Hi guys, so today I have a few things to share with you that I picked up um, recently and things that arrived the last few days. So I want to share those with you. But um, so if I have any links, if anything is still available, those would be affiliate links. They'll be in the description box. That means I would make a small commission if you were purchased items to those links. So thank you guys for using those if you can. And again, in the description box, you know, if you're watching on TV, I don't think maybe it's there I don't know but um, you know video or whatever it's right under the title you can click on the title show more you can click on a little arrow you can just literally click on the title expands that and you'll find recipes there you know anytime a youtuber has any kind of links to their blog to wherever that's where they are so um, so I have those kind of things there too and I just quickly want to show you guys yesterday I was taking pictures and I was like oh no his little footy had moved and I hadn't noticed while I was taking the picture so I did fix it but how cute if you haven't had a chance to see this uh, video is the busted out and actually the Stephanie Bernard step up card base is still available um, it was under Sizzix before but now it's her own thing under the Stamps of Life so it's her design that she was able to use there on the Stamps of Life uh, side of <laughs> what she used to do or that's what she does now what she used to do was Sizzix but anyway um, it's still available as that and then I think Dieta one of my gals here had mentioned that there's also a curve one I was like I haven't had a chance to respond but I'm like girl you know I have that one too I have all of them <laughs> and I probably have repeats of them <laughs> but yeah she has another one that has curved edges um, which I was wondering if you can just do by notching if you wanted to, but it might be weird. I don't know. I guess it's worth a try. Um, okay. So I have stuff from like all kinds of different things. So let's see. Oh, I did want to mention, I did get my Spellbinders um, small die of the month. I did not do the Glimmer this month. Um, but this came in a couple weeks ago, and I just haven't shown it. I forgot. But I know it's over with now, but maybe when they bring it back later, if you haven't gotten it, or if you didn't sign up for this guy, um, you can still pick it up later. It's usually like two or three months will pass, and then they have them available for everybody to pick up, uh, whatever club kits that might be left. So this one's Holiday Haul. And look how cute. I had mentioned it to you guys. I had the links there, but I mean... Look, he's just so cute. I love the style, the little roundness. Adorable. So, have my little guy. We will definitely play with that at a later date. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Amazon. Um, I got this package delivered, and, you know, I looked in there. I'm like, that doesn't look good. <laughs> it's totally smashed. But okay, it should be fine. Um, these are refills, and hopefully all six are here. Oh, yeah, this is... Hey, that's a nice template, I suppose, if you had paper this big to make a little box. You can copy it, or just use this and trace around right but you still have to do your um scoring but hey works out oh look how quick we have a box it just needs to stick there anyway these are the refills that would go into um the machine that i reviewed recently not the regular mun being like the little not this little guy but the square one where did i put him i'm not sure where i put him i can find it i just I'm not going to dig around right now. He's actually in here. I have all my little label makers together, but I can see that it's towards the back and there's something on top. So um, it's it's not for this guy. As you can tell, this guy has the little circular things, you know, or these guys right here. It has this kind of thing, right? Where this other machine takes this one. And if you guys remember back in the day, I had reviewed another one for a company called the Foam Memo, I think it was. And that one actually does take these kind of rolls. But it also took these. You would just place them in there and then you would move the... Well, this one has a thing you're not supposed to remove. But let's pretend this is smaller. That one would um, also do smaller rolls. So it's kind of interesting. But um, this is for the Munbean printers. Not this one, but the other one that was uh, square. Uh, and they're just cute. So I thought, aww. So I grabbed these. Look at the little bears. And the little um, shamrocks. And these are just plain white, I believe. This one is larger more of a, like a return or the two part should i say you know what i'm saying i don't know it just depends i just use the labels however i feel like i use these for on my address right when i send something else this one's again smaller and then this one has little yellow well it's yellow with white bears really cute so i grabbed that on amazon very recently okay sorry about that i just uh, took a pause to take off my sweater got a little bit hot but since i took it off i might as well or paused i went ahead and grabbed this little printer that's the one you would use for these guys you just pop them in here I don't want to destroy things but I think okay that's really on there I don't know if it's gonna accept that or not but anyway you would pop it in here and then you know let the thing read and know where what's going on and then continue using them I do want to show you real quickly actually I use this guy and I made these 
for my giveaway cards. So if you haven't joined the giveaway, make sure to check that out. But handmade by Vianney Fates. And I put a little gingerbread guy since they're all Christmas cards anyway. Thought it was cute. And that was with this guy, but you could also do it with the one I just showed you. Anyway, let's get to uh, some of these other items. Um, oh, yes, this is awesome. So this is from um, LDR's Creative. Aww. So, let me grab these real quick. So, some of these items I did pick up, and some were sent, I think, as part of uh, the review package from last time, because I know there was a couple items. So, um, again, I picked these up on my own, and then I'll show you the other ones later, let's say that, because that way it'll make it easy. I don't have to go back and give disclosures about things that I have that are for review or whatever. <laughs> All right. So... I placed an order, and this is pretty cool. I placed the order, I think, Sunday, and this were delivered Wednesday morning, like with my regular mail. Um, so that was really fast. So I just want to mention that. A lot of times whenever I, you know, pick things up from companies, especially if I have affiliate relationships with them, I like to let you guys know about all that kind of stuff. So, oh, another one I have right here to show you guys is from Craft Stash, and that came in really fast, too, and they're based in the UK, so we'll talk about that in just a minute. But... We have, uh, this was on the clearance section. I always ch check out clearance whenever I shop anybody's site just to see if there's anything I want to add on, you know. So this is the Polka Doodles ribbon gift frame and bows. And I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. Um, I have a lot of the old Polka Doodles. Polka Doodles. <laughs> polka Doodles. <laughs> Super cute. It has the frame. It doesn't cut the center, I don't think, but it does an embossing, it looks like. And then if you want to use this to make, like, a frame with it, you can pair them up together. Or you can make, like, a matted layer, you know, however you want to use it. It yeah, because it doesn't look like it cuts that center. That's what it's kind of showing you here. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> it looks very not cutting edge, but who knows. Um, okay, then we have all these little pieces that we can play with. Oh, this is their um, paper pack for um, their Christmas time. So I have the 6x6 here, and then we have the slim line here. But again, they're going to be exactly the same. So this is the 6x6 paper pack. Very cute, single-sided. Again, it has that sheen. It's not a shine, and I don't want to call it a shimmer because it's not sparkly, but it's just like a sheen, and it's very slight. And the other day, whenever I had used their paper for a different video, um, when I first showed the, the October collection, this is the stuff that came out last, the last collection launch. Um, I just went and stamped on it. I didn't think anything of it. And somebody had said, oh, you know, I was wondering how it stamps, how it takes stamps because of the, the uh, finish. And I was like, oh, you know, I didn't even think about it. I just stamped on it and it was perfectly fine. You guys saw it was great, actually. So it stamps very well, <laughs> this paper. Uh, this one, ooh. That's interesting. It has a very fall feel to it with the holly, but it's more like a, like a deep red, like a burnt kind of red. Look at that. I love the different takes she takes on the colors because even the fall stuff with the teals and all those other kind of bright purples you know it's just really pretty but we have this pretty paper here oh look at this one it's set up in a way you can just have like a little six by six page almost but if you don't want if you just want to cut it it'll make a nice little framed out piece this one with the little lights oh i love this oh <laughs> so cute i love that that's kind of how my treat looks i put a lot of treats in my tree <laughs> you can imagine uh, we have this one here with the green background and the beautiful like poinsettias Oh, the other day, too, I, I have this flower myself. It just hasn't bloomed yet because it's a new thing. And it just reminded me yesterday, HSN had their Today Special was an amaryllis. I'm like, that's what it was the, uh, in the Anna Griffin kit that I showed you guys recently, the um, Christmas for All craft making kit. Um, it's an amaryllis. It's so pretty. And then, oh, I love this on the blue background. And then this one's very similar to this one, but it's red. Again, like just like a deep, deep red. A little green pattern paper. And then this one, look at the blues. I love that. So it's traditional, the, the colors are kind of different, but also if you want to make it more like these contemporary, like cool colors, you can have that. And then it repeats, repeats, repeats. I always say that word funny, I think. Um, let me see here. Sorry Hold about on. that little note caught my eye and I thought, was that note in with this stuff? But no, it was just a note from uh, a swap that somebody had sent me. Um, anyhow, so layered poinsettia dies, you know, I had to grab these. Had to get them. Look at them. so pretty, especially after I play with the other die set of her layered, um, pretty floral. Or I think it was just called something like that. Um, lovely floral. So pretty. So I grabbed these gorgeous ones. 
sprayed fuse. Oh, and of course I had to get the slim lines. So I have the ones that they had uh, aired on HSN and those sold out so fast. And then um, these are another set. <laughs> so this is this one here is, of course I'll have individual links, like I said, elegant stitched frame slim line, of course, or not of course, but again, um, hers are made in a way that this is not going to cut that edge so you make your card base if you would like. Um, I suppose if you wanted that as a matte layer, all you have to do is just either put this on the very edge of your paper or cut that piece off when you're done, you know, die cutting, you just guillotine it. But it gives it an extra option. And then it has the matte and layers, so it's one, two, three. These are three dies here, and there's a ton of dies right here. I mean, like one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has two, and this one also has one, two, three, four, five, six dies with the dots and layers. So you have that decorative and plain edge. And then this one is diagonal stitch postage frames. And yes, I already have a postage frame, but I like these. So I got this one, especially because hers is, hers is stitched. It's a little different. Um, again, that outer die that has like a little slight uh, diagonal on the edge. That's really cute. Little style there. Um, postage frame looking here. We have that uh, inlay, not inlay, but well, I guess it could be used as an inlay, but it's a matte layer, all kinds of cool shapes in here, labels. This one is actually two different dies. Super cute. So, really happy to have those. And then this is the um, um, slimline paper that's just like the other paper that we just went through. And it'll be basically the same. I am curious to see the one that looks like a frame out, though. So let's check that out really quick. Ooh, I like that these are matched up two and two. Instead of one, 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 and then back to one, one, one. But I want to see the one. This one. So this is how they did it on that and then this is the other one. Oh, that's so pretty so the other one and the six by six you know it went up the side and came back down but this one they just did like a top and bottom cute even for a mini slim out you can just ch chop it down and it will still look great oh that's one piece in there and then what i want to do really quickly for this for you guys is really quick is measure these of course i'll be using these coming up because i have to so the outer card is eight and a half by three and a half perfect then everything else mats in there so you know this one's probably the same those are the dimensions i prefer for a slim line and let me see yep oh you know what? i'm looking at the very edge so we here yeah three and a half okay perfect and i'm telling you it arrived so fast okay this stuff i think i think is what is in here arrived with a lot of it, it not so fast <laughs> this is a bunch of dies well no not this one but this kind of goes along with it. Um, I had picked up a bunch of like the Nelly's Choice and those kind of dies, like those new things that HSN is carrying. And they took forever to come in. I don't know why. Uh, they were shipped by Ecstasy Crafts, even though HSN would alert me to the shipping, you know. But however they keep their stuff, I guess, is a little bit different. This is an auto ship, so this is not what I was expecting to open right now. Where is the other package? Is it this one? Is it that one? Oh, maybe it's this one. I have packages all around me, you guys. I'm just trying to <laughs> make sense of all this. This is the Nelly Street stuff, I think. Yes, okay. So, as you can see, all those different things were shipped from the same company. Again, these are all, like, new things that HSN is carrying, so I have a feeling there's a warehouse that holds those things, you know, a company that they go through, because it's all kind of different, but all UK-ish. So, um, yeah. So Studio Light, um, Essentials Cutting Dies. I was just curious to see how big this would be because it doesn't give you any information on uh, the HSN. Even like something like this, it wouldn't show you like a picture of like a finished project. So it's like, what is this? This is a nice little label or tag. I do not know um, right now off the top of my head if it's available. But like I said, I always have the links, you guys. I know sometimes people will be like, oh, it's this. But I'm like, the links are there. <laughs> okay. So this is four inches by two inches. That's a cute little tag, you guys. I was really um, wanting to get that. And look, even this is a tag. So there's an inlay and then the outer edge. Inlay, outer edge. Same thing. Oh my gosh, even this one's a tag. I didn't notice that. I just thought there were like cute things you can pop on there. Like this one doesn't have the tag button, but this these guys do. Or the tag, you know, circle. Uh, reinforcement, another cute little kind of label kind of tag thing. However you want to use it. Banner, a little gift. The gift one looks like an inlay. That's very interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay, and then there's an inner tag, too, with the stitching. Very cute. This is tiny. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was looking at the die. I thought this was a picture. What am I looking at? You guys, my brain, like, cannot process this. This is so weird. I had to, like, look without my glasses. I guess because it's blue, it's kind of uh, different. And then just the way it looks, it looks like a picture. 
what is going on super cute it makes a little pocket i mean a little pocket <laughs> all right uh let's see how big this pocket would be if we folded it and all that so this is the line for that my eyes are still like mm, not wanting to read this right it is one and a half inches wide you know the pocket itself i'm not counting the tab obviously because that's inside and it is about two and a half inches tall that is gonna be so cute and then it has all these little bits and then i mean i guess you can make a tag with that like if you want to make a hole for a ribbon or something i don't know so cute oh my gosh so small oh these are all playing with my bar my brain here <laughs> that one looked more like a picture like a drawing but this one is Vintasia, Vintasia, Nelly's Choice, um, and they have tons of them, but these, I just I had to choose a couple, right, or a few, I guess, um, because otherwise I would have bought all of them, so I was like, well, let me buy a few, we'll try them out, and then I'll know if they're great or however, I'm sure they're just fine, but I mean, look how pretty this is, and I, like I said, I almost got the whole collection of this set, this one's a little bit different, um, but they have pretty much all these, I think, on HSN there, so this is um, Rectangle with Grid, and look at this. I mean, oh, so pretty. So we have the outer piece, and this is not an inlay. It's going to cut its own, like, frame that's all swirly. And then you have this beautiful thing, and then this, and the tiniest little butterfly in the world. And this is square with grid. And then this one, again, very similar. It has this beautiful, I mean, you guys, it's so hard to see these. I don't know why. They're messing with my eyeballs. Frame round with Cupido, for some reason. <laughs> Cupido, but it says Cupido. And then this one is uh, round. <laughs> this one's called round. They do have these on HSN too, and I'm thinking about getting this one. But just gorgeous. And look at this one. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I love this paper even more. Are you kidding? These are all, I think this is sold out now, because these were like pretty much everything that was this uh, consortium crafts was just sold out there. They're like 10 bucks, I think, for the paper pads. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I should have ordered two. I knew I should have ordered two of this. First of all, you guys already know I love that we have all the diversity in here. It's super cute. I mean look at all the different skin tones. I love it. And we have the little oh. <laughs> you can even cut this up. I did not know that it was gonna be like this adorable. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh at least oh okay. You know what? I guess that's good, because there's four of each page. Even if it's sold out, I'm happy that I have this, because I can cut a couple of them up and you still have some to save. Look at... Oh, my goodness. Okay, we have to go... Look... Oh, my gosh. You guys. <laughs> we got our gold frankincense and myrrh here. Oh, my goodness. Look at the back. And it has, like, a cool, like, coating on there. Is there more of this one? I feel like I went through five of them but whatever oh the little animals the holly oh my gosh so the other thing they have some of these they have 12 by 12s and those are all gone too oh my gosh i'm gonna have to yeah all right just a nice little background super cute and then this side look at the colors and again this one almost has that sheen on it that's interesting i didn't notice that before on the other papers do they all have that no that's so cool how so this one has sheen, the other one has like that little kind of plasticky feel to it and embossed and then like some of them are just matte. I mean, look at the animals. Oh my goodness. Okay, if this isn't sold out, I'm probably going to buy it all up before this video even goes up. No, I'm just going <laughs> to But I will have the links there for you guys. Look, at, and this one again has that sheen to it. Aww, which is a cute little thing with a little kind of more plain paper. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I knew it. I knew I should have got more. And this one's Festive Flora. Again, there were several where I was like, oh, let me get that 12 by 12, and it was already gone. Now, these are different. I don't know if you can see, this one has like pine cones, where this one does not. It's more of just like a winter berry kind of thing. Beautiful coloring. Look at this. That's the next one. And then there's the back of that next one. Oh my gosh, it almost has like a mind's eye look. Like you think there's going to be like an image showing up super cool the way they made this um, this one again that berry but it has like a white background this one's a little bit different okay this is the next paper it's a little green very sweet oh a little like fur and then that has fur with pine cones oh cool i was gonna skip to the next one but i totally skipped look at this very interesting you probably fussy cut a lot of those if you wanted to and that and this one's more fine with that little holly on this one. Again, four sheets of each. Beautiful poinsettia. Oh, you guys. 
I will have exactly the links to these things and hopefully they're not completely sold out. <laughs> like I said, a lot of them were. So this is Craft Consortium. Look at, I mean, oh yeah. I am a fan now. It did take a little while to come in. Like I said, I, I would say they took like two or two weeks, possibly. Just about. Um, even though, again, I ordered them on HSN. This is the Diamond Press Slimline Shadow Box Dies and Stamps. Happy Holidays Village. Oh my gosh. I know I haven't worked with the other ones yet because <laughs> we've been busy, girls. But I will get to it. You, you already know. How I feel about auto ships is like, I'm just happy to have it and I'll get to it. But at least I have it. <laughs> That's basically how I see these things. So I'm happy to have this. It's the, uh, I think this is might be the last one. I'm always wrong. Um, from the shadow box that, uh, slim lines that Diane Press had put out not too long ago. Why does it look so dark? I am so sorry. Like, ugh, can't do much about it. Um, but yeah, we will get to it. We will get to it. I don't want to forget things that I have laying around me because I have so many things to show you guys and they're all just kind of out here. Oh, there's another um, Nelly's Choice. No, not Nelly's Choice. What am I talking about? I keep wanting to say that. A hunky dory pad that I had picked up there on HSN. Also, and it arrived on its own by itself a few days ago. So, not sure where that one actually shipped from, but here we have it. And I just thought it was so pretty. It's just a tag pad. And I mean, look at the. What's on there? Look. So pretty. And then you can pop the hole out or leave it if you want, but really cute. And there's several of each of those styles oh look at this look at her little face so sweet <laughs> i don't know why this one made me laugh i like her her look she looks a little like mm. and then oh the teacup and then again you can stamp in there add things ephemera whatever you're gonna do with these i mean these are just gorgeous i don't know i'm, I'm skipping some like you clearly saw i skipped something there where is it oh maybe i didn't wait yeah, this one. Oh, that's more of a close-up on our girl. <laughs> Little corset. No. So, really pretty. Pad there, and what's in here? What is in here? It's a kind of a big box, and it weighs like nothing, so hold on. Oh, okay, cool. I am not sure what we're looking at, but... Oh, okay, cool. We have that. Oh, yes. Okay, I was just wondering why there's like an extra paper in here. It's just a, a shipping thing. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, we'll look at that in just a second. But this is another... Um, uh, yeah, I would say 49, yeah, 49 and Market paper pad. Um, again, these are not inexpensive paper pads, but this one was really pretty. I think it has... Does it say six double-sided papers and two laser-cut sheets, and they're like two or three bucks a sheet, basically. But... Um, as you can see, really pretty. With, look at this. And you guys know whenever I did that haul, it was all a bunch of papers. It's just gorgeous. I mean, look at the die cutting on this. And I can see in the background there's some really cool um, things there. And then, I mean, look at this. Of course we can do this with a die, but it looks really cool. <laughs> Already there. Let's go. Let's get lost. We have some flower, flowers. Butterflies. This beautiful fern. Look at this, like, lace edge. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Super cool. I can tell the second piece is different. I don't know if you can see the die cutting back there. It's like really cool, kind of like laser etched pieces. They look very thick. Kind of interesting. Well, very interesting. Beautiful paper. I'm not going to open it up right now. Sorry, but there's that one. Um, I just grabbed these because I was like, oh, I remember you doing things like this or wanting to do things like this when I was a kid. So I just grabbed this. This makes like these cute little wreaths and see if it's not going to be too difficult for like Miranda and Dorian to try out. Uh, Miranda will love this. So make the little wreaths. So. It has all everything you need in there, which I'm sure I have stuff like that in my stash. Even this kind of thing, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I already have what I need for it. But I was curious to see how crystal looking they are. So, like, this is very frosty. Those are just, like, plastic beads. Oh, oh, interesting. Where's that play in? This big plastic bead right here? I wonder if you build it around it, probably. Because I don't see it here, and maybe it's under the skirt. So, anyway, I just thought these were cute. Grab those. And... Trying to make sure I don't forget anything. This. Oh, okay. Yes. I had mentioned that I was going to be going back to HSN to get another pack of the Bell Countryside paper. So this is the um, cardstock part of it. The luxury mix card again, pearlescent um, card and um, like, uh, what's it called? Textured 
card, right? I think they call it linen or something. Hi, you can see me in there. <laughs> but there's that. So pretty in this colorway. And can, we've already gone through the paper pack and it's gorgeous. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, you guys know. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> Bill Countryside is so nice. So I got the big kit and then I ordered more paper. Oh, this is an auto ship. And I think it's already available on HSN because I saw it, I think, before I even opened this or before this even got to my house. Um, it's the Nativity Shutter. Which reminds me, um, if you guys have seen the video for the Tonic Shutter Die Set, so easy to use. I think the instructions I gave are like more simplified than what Tonic was giving, but all they did was add an extra card. And I also did the step-by-step -step for it, so um, I'll have the links there for their new the Showcase Shutter Card Die Set. And then there, um, it should have a link to the blog, but if not, you can just at the very top click, you know, craft room, and it'll take you to the blog. And I have a post there with tons of pictures, step by step. <laughs> Probably too many. I don't know. Um, sometimes, you know, I do a step by step tutorials or blog posts for them, and I'm like, how much is too much? Because, you know, like I said, I like to be very clear, <laughs> so there are tons of pictures and tons of words <laughs> if you want to go step by step that way. But um, look at this. Look at the little, oh my gosh. So cute. And I know these are bigger. I was like, I wonder if I can play with this in a way to make it more fun, like, um, just like more childlike. Oh, so cute. But we have these guys that are the inserts. I mean, you guys. So oh, pretty. Oh, you know, I was just looking at this and I thought, I think it's from a different set, but hold on. It looks like there's two sheets here. Because I have a few of her nativity sets, and, you know, things start becoming a blur. Oh my goodness, yeah, there it is. So what they did was they fussy cut that, which is still, you know, I mean, it's doable. But to get like this look, oh my gosh, you guys, I mean, that's so pretty. But this one, you would fussy cut, and whoever fussy cut that did an excellent job because it's very smooth. <laughs> oh gosh, so pretty. So there's that. Love it. Okay. Um, and then we have that, and then I think the last thing I have to show you guys is some stuff I picked up through Craft Stash. And you know what? I didn't write the dates down. I think I told you guys when I had bought these things, but I don't remember when they came in because they came in pretty quick. I would say within a week. And that's typical what I've had the experience I've had with Craft Stash. If uh, you have other experiences or whatever your experiences, please let us know here because people are always curious. Um, again, this came in from the UK, so it's a little bit a little bit quished, like Miranda says. It says squished, but this was a bundle that I picked up, the Winter Wishes, and for me, even if I still have Platinum with Crafter's Companion, it was a better price on Craft Stash, and you get free shipping with lesser um, purchasing, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to buy as much to get the free shipping. Hold on, and I think this is all part of it, unless I bought a separate paper pad, so that's Winter White. And I had told you guys I also ordered a paper pad from them while I was at it. So this is another Bell Countryside. So now I have three and that's enough. I will not buy any more. Maybe. And um, I got this stuff and this. Ooh, this is a jam-packed package. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let me... Since we have winter white out, let's talk about that. Oh, wow. Those are way bigger. Those dyes. Okay. Um, winter white. So what happens with Craft Stash, they have amazing prices. They'll have the old deals going. I think you can use one coat at a time. So like, let's say you picked up some kind of paper line that they're having 20% off that day or whatever. You can use the code for that. But um, if you had another code that works out better, then use that. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll take one coat at a time. And the codes are there on their site. It's not something I have or something special. It's just maybe that day they have a sale on whatever particular thing. Um, so this is the winter white. Uh, Crafter's Companion set. So these are stamens. Gold stamens, it says. Winter White Luxury Mixed Card. And it's kind of like what I showed you earlier. I'm not going to open this up, but it basically has glitter and pearlescent cards. So this is glitter and then pearlescent. So again, like that silvery, kind of a blue silver, minty kind of, and like a darker green. This is the Flower Forming Foam. Very much green and white. <laughs> Let's look at this paper pad, which of course is what we all want to see, and pretty much launched the same time as Craft's Companion launched. I think they did during their birthday week, right? Which just ended. And like I said, I ordered this stuff basically the same day I noticed that uh, Craft's Companion had launched it. I got it on Craft Stash. Um, oh, pretty, pretty. And then people were mentioning that, like, oh, you heard Sarah mention that she got new um, 
paper designers. I'm like, yeah, I heard her say that during the um, that paper pack thing that she had done, the paper library. But those papers all looked like old designs to me. There may be a couple new ones, so I don't know. But whoever is working on these are definitely new designers. <laughs> so I mean, the style looks looks like acrylic paint. I'm not as like woo as like with the Bell Countryside because that's just gorgeous. But this is very pretty. I mean, oh, love the modeled papers. Super pretty. Yeah, it totally looks like acrylic flower paintings. And you can see the back is kind of like modeled. Love this. I like this darker kind of thing. Got going here. Oh, this is going to be pretty, pretty. To use on cards, I'm already imagining some of the different things I picked up, you know, that I can pair this with. The pretty blue on this one. And again, you know, and somebody else mentioned that, like, always make my own backgrounds. And I do too. You know, I used to always use layering papers and then I started making my own backgrounds. And if that's just spraying a little spray or doing a little inking or whatever, it seems like I've lost my touch with using cardstock backgrounds, like pre-printed. So I'm going to try to do more and more of that. I've been trying to do more and more of that, so hopefully you guys have noticed. <laughs> and then here we go. Because we got to use up our papers. Very pretty. And I think there's one more design back here. It's pretty. Like I said, I'm not going to be like, woo, this is... No, Bell Countryside really got me. Uh, fancy frame. Looks cute. Says it's three by two and a quarter. Gorgeous. Oh, uh, I, I already forgot this is like a Christmas set, you know, winter white. Um, I'm like, be jolly. Oh, that's right. This, <laughs> it's a Christmas set. Be jolly, let it snow, winter blessings. Love a quick dye that you just run through when you have your sentiment. Oh, so pretty. Splendid poinsettia. Okay, this is redeeming everything for me because I love this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, winter white, winter foliage. Can't get enough winter foliage. I probably have dozens of winter foliage type of dyes, you know, mixed in here and there. But this is really sweet. I'll open this really quickly just so you guys have an idea of the size. Because I'm sure you might be curious. I forgot that this was in here, to be honest. I know I ordered paper. I forgot why I had, like, jumped on it. These are a nice size. And they have, like, little um, embossing areas if you want to run it back through. Or if you have enough pressure in your machine to get that embossed the first time. Um, like this guy's almost three inches. No, lies. Uh, two, over two and a half. <laughs> and this one's like three and a half. I mean, these are good. Two inch, you know, holly leaf. I like that because I have small ones, you know, small little things. I like having like a good size, you know. So pretty. So pretty. And then um, these, you know, this kind of thing, they're showing the flower for forming. Um foam basically but you can just cut it with regular paper it doesn't have to be the foam uh the foam just gives a different look uh winter blessings um again acrylic stamps a snowflake is winter's butterfly baby it's cold so it's kind of interesting because the flowers like nothing in this paper pad really has anything to do with christmas in my opinion right i mean it's just pretty i i didn't if they had mixed some like holly berries in here or something maybe some i don't know what blooms <laughs> <laughs> it's white like snowdrop I don't even know what would make it more Christmas but it's very pretty it's just I didn't I totally forgot that it was Christmas after looking at the paper you know uh, a foliage background and embossing folder very very pretty happy to have it a little different okay this one has been available for a while and I just hadn't picked it up and since it was pretty good price there on craft session I was picking up other things I grabbed it. it's the masquerade ball and actually what happened here, I think I picked up individual items. I don't think this was a bundle because I know there's a bigger bundle like on HSN. I just picked out the ones that I thought I would like. And then this one's interesting because it did say that the feathers, oh, okay, that's what it is. Since these are two separate things, but supposedly you have this mask, and I don't know if you can see these little feathers. You're supposed to use the feathers to help you like decorate the mask, you know, or you can if you want. So this is the elegant mask so pretty and it says it's going to be 5.2 by 2.9 that's the largest die which i'm assuming is the outer edge of that and this one is the um uh flamboyant feathers it says and it looks like this one's one die and then this one has an inlay and the outer inlay and outer is what it looks like so it's say five yep five so that makes the five dies really cool background i just like this <laughs> for the embossing it's an embossing folder and then this is the Distressed Chandelier Embossing Folder, which I have things like this in, like, dyes and other stuff, but this is just so pretty. 
had to grab it. This one's like a 5x7 type, and this is 4x6, it says. And this is the paper. Let's take a quick look. I thought this video was going to be quick, and I realized I had a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't get to do a live in a couple weeks, because got to put all the chit-chat in here <laughs> and try to pretend I'm hearing you guys. Masquerade Ball, of course. Beautiful, loud, you know, colors. I... I have no problem with it. I love it. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how they're doing like a, a realistic flower in there. The back of that. So very, um, you know, Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday type of thing. Have a ball. Has the foiling. So this is the kind of thing I didn't see in the other paper pad. And maybe that's why I didn't like, eh, wow me so much. It's pretty. It's just not what I expected. Um, look at this. Love that color. The teal on that purple. Oh my gosh. The other one's very subdued. I like the darker shades in that. And the winter white. Look at this. Oh, this is crazy looking. <laughs> it definitely looks like it reminds me of something you would do. Obviously with like oxide inks and stuff like that. But like maybe like gel press. Just because it's all, you know, odd and very cool. Look at this background. So pretty. Again, very bright colors. Miranda is going to love this paper. Oh, as far as the thickness of the paper. Again, I think this is just the way people are going with paper right now as far as printed paper because it's not layering weight so it's not like a little like printer paper but it's not as thick as a cardstock base. I do like using things like this sometimes for cardstock bases you know as a base but this is very thin so I wouldn't use it anymore. When you know die cuts with a view used to have it so it's printed and it's nice and sturdy so it's just I don't know does it even say on here the weight? I should really find out yeah 180 that's what I figured so 180 GSM again you guys is you know, the 300 is like that thick black matte paper that they come out with. I don't know. This is a little more than half that, but it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. It's just how it is. So, again, you, you don't want to layer up a card that's like super thick just because the paper is so heavy. But, again, for a card base, it's not going to work for me. Beautiful peacock feathers. Look at this one. Oh, with the orange and purple. I'm kind of becoming a fan of the orange and purple thing. Like those colors together. Um, very lovely. The foiling, oh my gosh, Am I, I'm just going through each paper, <laughs> they're so pretty. This one, this is interesting, what am I feeling? I feel texture, but I don't know why. You know, it might be from the foiling on this side? Yeah, probably. I just give it like a debossed feel. Um, again, that paper, kind of like what we saw earlier, but a little bit different colorway. I mean, look at this. So pretty. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to pick up an extra paper pad <laughs> of this one. I was thinking about doing that initially, but I was like, nah, it's okay. Um, oh, and then what else did I get there? I got these um, Nellie's Choice. Uh, okay. Why do I keep saying Nellie's Choice? My goodness. Daisy Made Design. <laughs> and honestly, I thought these were going to be small, so this is pretty cool. Look at this. This is Label Torn Edge Nesting Die Set, and they're relatively inexpensive, like this brand or whatever. Um... So I just grabbed some. I mean, this is huge. Seven inches. I would say it must be by five, or otherwise, what are you going to do with it? Um, yeah, like what it's actually going to cut is right at five. <laughs> so it's like seven by five, five by seven. And then it goes from there. And look how cute, though. I just love the way the little torn edge. It's just something different. Um, and they both cut, like this outer one cuts, and this middle, this is the second one cuts outer cut inner cut so it's not like an inlay you just have all these different layering pieces and look at this tag you know when i saw this it reminded me a lot of like um magnolia ink like if you put a little tilde stamp with all kinds of cute ephemera i think this would be lovely so again like torn edge tag die set and the largest tag is six and almost six and a half by like three and three quarters or so and then they go in from there look at this oh i'm so happy i got have grabbed these. Okay, guys. I think that's it. Is that enough paper kind of feeling <laughs> messing around there? A lot of papers, a lot of fun stuff. I will definitely jump on trying these guys out because we want to know, you know, I, I don't see that they're not going to cut well. These do feel like thinner, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, like, touch, touching this, I can feel like thickness, and this one feels like just there. Oh, look at the embossing on that, though. I already forgot that we even got these things in today's haul, so I'm going to lay things out, have a picture. <laughs> And um, have the links in the description box for you guys. Again, at Craft Stash, HSN, uh, Amazon if you're interested in those labels. And I will see you guys maybe later on today, hopefully, with a tutorial. All right, guys. Bye now.